I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Orbit Manipulator module to control a satellite's orbit and ground track in real time. From the Orbitus main menu, you're going to click on the Orbit Manipulator button. You'll notice these slide bars on the left, they control the orbital elements. These orbital elements define a satellite orbit's geometry and orientation in 3D space. As these elements are altered, you'll notice that the image of the orbit to the right is updated in real time. This gives uh, the user a very unique and fast uh, perspective of how each element affects the geometry of an orbit and its orientation in space. Now you can go ahead and rotate this image in any way you want and continue to alter these elements. You can also change the satellite's location at the observation time. In addition to this, um, you can turn the ground track feature on. This will plot the satellite's ground track in the figure uh, in the lower right hand corner. Now, again, these slide bars uh, are tied to not only the three dimensional orbit, but also the satellite's ground track image. So you can see these again, both of them are changing in real time. In addition to this, you might want to go ahead and uh, just view some, some example satellite orbits and their ground tracks uh, for known constellations such as the GPS. So when you select one of these, its orbit is plotted above and its ground track. Select another one such as Hubble Space Telescope. Go ahead and increase the number of revolutions as plotted in the ground track. Now if you have any questions about this module, there's an info button. This is also included in the other modules as well. You can go ahead and click that. It gives you an overview of what's running behind the scenes as well as some definitions. You can also click on the terms tab, which brings up uh, definitions for common terms that are used. Uh, in this case, each of the orbital elements is defined very clearly. And that's how easy it is. Enjoy.